हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ए न्यू टॉपिक टुडे इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एनेस्थीशिया सर्क्यूट ओके सो इन द एनेस्थीशिया सर्क्यूट this anesthesia circuit is a two way connection between the patient and the machine so we have learned about the anesthesia machine in the last class right so we have an anesthesia machine and we also have the patient right the connection between this anesthesia machine and the patient is called as anesthesia circuit that means this anesthesia circuit will bring the gas towards the patient that is will bring inspiratory gas towards the patient and it will also take expiratory gas away from the patient into the machine or to the outside whatever it is okay so this is anesthesia circuit so we have three different types of circuits available in the anesthesia machine anesthesia circuits okay one we call it has open circuit second semi open or mapleson circuit third we have closed circuit if you see open circuit is never and no longer used right now we are not using this open circuit okay so we have two types of ventilation one we have is spontaneous ventilation and the other we have con controlled ventilation okay what does these mean in spontaneous ventilation the patient can take the amount of oxygen by himself okay the patient can exert some pressure then that is spontaneous ventilation in controlled ventilation patient cannot exert any pressure and the ventilator or the anesthesia machine which is connected to the patient that will only exert or gives some controlled amount of air or controlled amount of pressure or volume depending upon whether the circuit is volume controlled or pressure controlled if it is pressure controlled it will pump the uh, pump the oxygen with a particular pressure to the patient if it is volume control always in every breath it will uh, pump the particular amount of volume of air to the patient so it can be either spontaneous or it can be controlled okay now when do you, so in the anesthesia circuit anesthesia circuit if you see if the expiratory valve is near the patient this is very important if expiratory valve is near the patient then it is good circuit for spontaneous ventilation if expiratory valve is near the patient then it is good circuit for spontaneous ventilation if the gas inlet is near the patient then it is good circuit for controlled ventilation so if expiratory valve is near the patient it is good circuit for spontaneous ventilation if gas inlet is near the is, is nearer to the patient then it is good circuit for controlled ventilation thank you and thank you for watching